I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Every Life with same. God is so good. And I'm thankful for living. We're so thankful, thankful that you're here with us and joining us on the show, Life yeah. with Gwen and Joe. Keep shining my light, living my life. Every day is the same. We see God in everything. I'm thankful for living. Together, we'd like to help you fall more in love with God. We're going to see all of our experiences, all the things that we do, and places we go, and people we hang with, and it is going to be something that helps us all focus more on God. And in the meantime, we're going to fall in love more with God, and our lives are going to be blessed. You're a thriver in dark seasons, a survivor. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. We're going to talk about empty today, and you know, I mean, I mean, Joe loves getting empty. I mean, you were talking about this past week. Yes, and I've actually recently discovered uh, the whole concept and principle of, of, of getting your system empty. I, I never really thought about that earlier in my life. I would just eat and eat and not really think about it. But uh, um, there, there's something to be said for, for letting your system kind of get a little bit depleted, Not certainly not to an unhealthy level. I don't think we're talking about that, but I think we're just talking about let, let, letting yourself get, get, when we say empty, it's just letting, letting your body uh, get to the point where you, you're really hungry yeah. and and uh, it feels good at that point. Food seems to taste a little bit better when you're anticipating really eating and I think that we start, you know, that's some of the principles of fasting even. Yeah. When people fast, uh, it's, it's a biblical thing. Um, you're more sensitive, you're more spiritually sensitive and I, I've just come to enjoy, like if I skip a meal, um, I'll say, you know what, it's okay that I didn't eat that meal because I, I have plenty of food in my system, I have plenty of energy, but I'm not, certainly not just eating for the sake of eating, I'm, I'm literally waiting till my system gets to the point where I'm really hungry and then I'm so anticipating eating and the food tastes really good at that point, so. It's, uh, it feels good to be, we were talking about like um, it, how good it feels. We, We've discussed it. It just feels good. It's great to be around a partner that feels the same way because it, you help each other out. And I get really inspiring because I'll go, are you eating lunch today? He goes, no, I've had plenty. Um, I'm not eating again to dinner. I know we're going out tonight. So it's really fun to be around people that are um, on the same page with you. And how do we know that we should be getting empty? It's because it's what children do. It's what animals do. Uh, you don't ever see animals eat a meal and then go back and eat a meal. Okay, so in the wedding book, it talks about an empty fuel gauge. It's like a gasoline, you know, when you put gasoline in the car and you wait till it gets all the way empty. And one of the things that I found, I didn't realize that my body would actually get used to, your, doesn't your stomach shrink a little bit if you're, if you're so I, I found myself not being as hungry as often when I wouldn't eat so much all the time. And my, my system actually got used to that. So I wasn't missing the food like I thought I would. But, but bottom line, we're, you know, uh, talking about something biblical. People, are, I wanted to bring up fasting because the, God would not have called us to fast if it was not very healthy. And we're not talking about fasting all the time. We're talking about a God-led fast for a specific reason. Esther fasted up to three days for her, you know, beseech, beseeching God to help her with the request from the king. You got, um, but fasting was a pretty regular thing. What the only, the only requirement he said for fasting was don't do it to show off. Don't like make yourself look miserable, but go ahead and fix yourself up and you don't have to talk about it. It's between you and God, but you're denying yourself. But the, the feeling, back to the feeling, it, it's like, you know, if you were going to, if, if someone has a lot of weight to lose, the first day is always the hardest. Um, the body actually likes to go into emptying out the stored energy. It hates it. It doesn't want it on there. The joints don't want it. The circulatory system doesn't want it. The heart doesn't want it. The kidneys don't want it. Uh, the pancreas doesn't want it. The liver doesn't want it. 
it wants to empty out the stored energy. If you've got uh, anywhere like even five, 10 to 100 pounds loose, it's gonna light fasting. It is probably one of the healthiest thing. First day, you may have to like fight it. The second day, you feel great. Third day, you feel great, even better. I would love to challenge everybody to get that feeling of like liking that feeling on a daily basis, not just fasting, but liking every day to go, wow, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm full here. I'm gonna wait till I get all the way empty, really empty and learn to love it. And it, for men, I mean, how does it feel for, I mean, you said you loved it. I, I, I learned to love it and my, the, the, the notions that I had about, about fasting and, and not eating before that were a little bit scary just because you're thinking, wow, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat or I'm gonna deprive myself of something. But just, just fr from the average person's um, perspective, I, I, I went into it and you're right, the first, the first period that you go through is difficult. But, but as, as, you, as you get more used to doing it, you, at least for myself, I'm speaking for myself, I found it that I, I became, uh, I got used to it, my body got used to it, and I thought, hey, this, it actually kind of feels good because overeating started make, making me feel bloated. I was eating a lot all the time, the three square meals and, 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 and eating a lot of food. And I, I just, it, it left me feeling very heavy. So I actually started to enjoy feeling empty. And I got past the psychological part of saying, wow, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not eating and I'm hungry. And you, you get through that little part of it. And uh, I also noticed something that when I prayed and I was hungry, and I think this is the biblical part of it, the, the godly part of it, that I, was, I, I felt more sensitive and more kind of connected in my prayers to God when I was when I was hungry. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that's part of I, I would believe that that's really what God's going for. It's like you're emptying out of the world, you're emptying your thoughts out, you're you're getting needy, hungry, you know, it's like hunger hunger in the desert, you know, they would get hungry and then God would feed them that manna. And there's something about hunger it makes the animals look to the heavens. It says even the animals look to God to eat. They are looking to God to eat. But you, you were talking the other day about there's certain animals, you know, like, well, the snake will eat and then won't eat again for almost a month. Oh, even longer. I mean, a lot of animals, uh, they know not to overeat. Just God programmed them to eat when they're hungry and when, they, when they're not hungry, they don't just kill to kill and eat to eat. They, they eat when they get hungry and they go hunt when they get hungry. So Joe's challenging the men and I'm challenging the women and I'm saying, you know, Joe, Joe loves it. I love it. I, I feel like I'm on top of it, on top of the game. I feel like I'm, you know, not overdoing it. Um, there's something about like overdoing it and then feeling defeated and feeling defeated for days. But when you get to that hang, this is my, my challenge for you. I want you to experiment this week for those that are stuck that tend to go up and down, I want you to find what it is, lowering the amounts to where you're in this like slow but consistent weight loss. Find that perfect, like that day, write it down. Like, what is that day? You're not losing it too fast. You're not losing, you know, and it may take a week to kind of balance it out because the body doesn't show. Sometimes it'll hold water, but you know, you can tell when you're eating that, that amount that is small enough to where you're in that weight loss. And talking about feeling victorious, there's nothing better when you know you have weight to lose. And then that way you're closer to maintenance when you get there. You know, you know what that amount is. And then you're gonna have to go in there at some point and say, this is what I get to eat. It's like everybody has a different monetary bank account. This is what I get to spend. I, God hasn't given me any more. I don't get to spend any more. Uh, here's the amount of talking that I could do, or here's the amount of um, eating I could do, drinking I can do. And there is a spot for all of us where it is in conjunction and, in, and just very uh, fluid with the Spirit of God. It's God leading. You get to a point where you just go, 
This is my lot. This is what God wants for me. And you become happy with that. And so empty is empty is a part of it. You, you, you look to God with that emptiness. You get a tremendous amount from it personally, self-esteem, spiritually. Uh, you feel like you're doing right in God's eyes. And I think, I think that alone is, is a very important thing to factor into all of this. Uh, is having self-control and uh, and achieving your goals. It, it leaves you feeling like like really good about yourself. It feels like it's it's a happy day. It's a happy day. We want everybody to get empty this week. And um, we're encouraging you to to reach your goals and to set those goals for yourself and to uh, not listen to uh, the lies that that can sometimes come up within within your own head and uh, make compromises. Because uh, if you stay on track and you reach and you reach those 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 goals that you set for yourself, there's no, there's no gratification like that, as you you feel like you're in control of your own destiny. Beautifully said. Thank you for joining us, and we are praying for you, and we will see you next Love week. Love you. Thank Bye, you. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. See you later. And I'm thankful for living. Thankful for living. Thankful for living. Yeah.